Visions across the continent aim to make people question just how much they recognize art around them. A series of images captured in different parts of the country, from the bustling financial capital to some of the most rural locations, was put together by a group of photographers known as One Touch, a collective whose aim is to see Kenya for themselves. The exhibition was also aimed at changing what the organizers say was skewed media coverage of Africa. One of the group's members, Nigerian-born Okwi Oko, had this to say. Our brief is Africa. Um, our brief is taking people and showing them in a dignified, uh, respectful and uh, insightful way. Um, we are sick and tired of seeing stereotypical photos of Africans. We want to show people going about their lives in a triumphant way. You know, you're not, you, we see people in, yes, in some difficult circumstances, but it's not my head down waiting to die or waiting for someone to come and help me. In Nigeria, artist Abinoro Akporode showed off his latest collection of sculptures made from tablespoons. He says he wants to give meaning to everyday items. Nigeria also cast a fresh eye on its vibrant contemporary art. The Art X event held in Lagos showed work from 65 African artists and proved the country's contemporary art scene is more vibrant than it has ever been. Elements of pop culture were a key theme at the event and installations were accompanied by hip-hop and jazz music sets as young artists painted graffiti murals. In Cape Town, South Africa, an audacious exhibition gave the public a chance to look inside the human body and see its complexity and fragility. The Body World's vital exhibition showcased stripped full bodies and over 180 human organs. Organizers wanted to educate people on how the body functions when healthy and how to avoid life-threatening diseases as well as addiction. Meanwhile, demand for African art abroad persisted. The London's National Portrait Gallery unveiled a rare photo collection exploring 19th century black British life. The Black Chronicles exhibition shed light on the forgotten history of Africans who found themselves in Britain during the Victorian period and addressed their absence in contemporary history books. Prior to the exhibition, some of the images had not been seen or published in over 120 years. At least 30 members of a Uganda.